This is amazing. Now we are going to see about LM Studio. Using this, you are able to run the large language model locally on your computer, which means your data is 100% private. We are going to see beginner's tutorial. And also I'll be including the latest updates, such as running vision models. So in this, we are going to see how to download LM Studio and download a large language model. Then we are going to see how to run the model locally. Then we are going to see how run multiple models at a time. Then we are going to set up a server and integrate that with an application such as a Python application. Finally, we are going to run a multimodal model that is Lava, where you can upload an image and ask questions based on that. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about LM Studio latest updates. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to download LM Studio, how to search for a model and download it, how to use the chat interface, how to run multiple model at a time, how to set up the server and integrate that with your own application, and finally run a multi-modal model locally on your computer. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, go to lmstudio.ai website. There you can download models based on your operating system which you are using. It's available in Mac, Windows and Linux. Once after you've downloaded and installed it, then you will have an interface like this. Now here you can download a model by clicking the download button. I've already downloaded Llama 3 8 b Instruct, so I'm going to use that model now. So to use that model, go to the AI chat tab. There you're going to choose the model at the top. Click the drop down menu. I'm going to choose Llama 3 8 b Instruct. Now the model is loading. You can see the CPU usage and RAM. Now the model got loaded. Now I'm going to ask a question. Give me a meal plan for me today. And now you can see it's generating response and it's really fast. And it's asking me if I have any preference. I'm going to say I have no preference. Click enter. And it's giving me breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. And that's it. Now we have successfully loaded a model locally on your computer and it remains 100% private. Now I'm going to show you how to run multiple model at the same time. So just go to the playground and click that. So you can see it's a multi-modal selection. So here, click the drop down menu. I'm going to click Llama 3 first and then click load model. Next, I'm going to click the drop down again. I'm going to say tiny Llama, click that and then load model. Now this will automatically download the required model. Now here you can see a Llama 3 model and tiny Llama got downloaded. Now I'm going to use this. So here on the right hand side, you can see multimodal prompter. Here you can ask questions. I'm going to say, write a short poem and click enter. Now you can see the poem is getting generated by both the models and now it is ready. You can see for Llama 3, it's 47 tokens per second and for Tiny Llama, it's 175 tokens per second because Tiny Llama is tiny. You can also integrate these both models in your app directly. In this way, you run one application, but you can serve multiple models. You got the curl command here. You can copy and use it. I'm going to show you next how to integrate these models with your application. So to do that, first you need to start the server. Here you can see local server icon, just click that and you will be presented with a page like this. There you can choose the model you want to use. I'm going to use Llama 3 Instruct, accept new prompt system. In that page you have a start server button, I'm going to click that. And to integrate that with your own application, here you got the instruction. For curl command, it is here. You can copy the code, go to your terminal, paste it and then click enter. Now it's generating the response in a streaming fashion. If you don't want to stream, you can just mention stream equals false and then click enter. And you got a response directly without streaming here. This is the whole output based on the question we asked here, introduce yourself. You can parse this and integrate that in your application. I'm also going to show you how to integrate that with the Python application. You got the code and instruction here. You can just copy this. I'm going to paste that in my VS code. We might install OpenAI package. So in your terminal, pip install OpenAI. Now we can run the code, Python app.py and then click enter. And now you got the response here. In this way, you can integrate this with your Python application. Next, I want to show you how to run a multimodal model, which means a vision model. I'm going to start the server, going to the search tab where you can search for language model. I'm going to search Lava 5.3. And here is the response. If you don't know about Lava, it is a large language and vision assistant model where you provide an image and it automatically describes what is in that image. So we are going to replicate the same thing, but completely locally on your computer with LM Studio. So here you can see in the search 
There's a Lava 53 Mini GGUF model. That is exactly what we're going to use. So if you see the list of files, we need to download two files. One is the model file and another one is the adapter file. You need both of this to work together. So first download the model file. I'm going to use int4 because I've got less storage on my computer. But if you've got more storage and more GPU, then consider downloading F16 pack. So click the download button and it'll get downloaded. Similarly for the adapter, just download the adapter button and you should be able to download that. You got two files downloaded as you can see here. Now we are ready to use a multimodal model Lava with 5.3. Now going to chat interface as you can see here. New chat, now load the model and the first model that is the Lava model. And now the model is loading. Now I'm going to upload this image and ask the large language model to describe about this image. So there's an icon, image icon here. So I'm going to click that and I've loaded the image. I'm going to ask, describe what is in this image and then click enter. Now you can see the image got uploaded. So here is the response. The image captures a serene scene of nature. At the heart of the image is a wooden pair. It's light brown planks. It extends into the calm water. Beyond the pair, there's the blue water. So yeah, it describes the scene, which is correct. But I'm using a quantized version and a tiny model. The bigger the model, the better is going to perform. Now I want to show you how you can run this image model in your Python application, how you can integrate that. Same as before, go to the load server session. There, make sure you've loaded the Lava model here. Click start server. And for the vision model, you got the instruction here. You can just copy this, paste it in VS code. Now we are going to run pythonapp.py and click enter. Now it's asking to enter a local file path to an image. I'll provide the file path and click enter. And now you can see it's describing what's in that image. This is exciting. In the server panel, you got other settings such as providing a system prompt, loading the model in your GPU by ticking this icon and other settings, which you can try later. Now we have seen how to download the model, run the model locally, run multiple models at a time, create a server and integrate that with your application. And finally, how to run a multimodal model. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.